What to do, y'all? It's your girl Makeup and Travel, and for today's video, your girl is here to bring you a what's happening a three looks one palette featuring my nomad cosmetics orient express palette um the look that's on my eyes today is my third and final look this palette really incorporates quite a bit of neutrals but you also get very nice bright pops of color i will say for me this is one of their more um unique palettes in the sense that the other palettes you either get a lot of color you either get neutral this is one of those palettes where you really bring both of those kind of um ideals and um interest together in one palette so if that is something that you are very interested in um this would be a palette i think out of all of their collection to uh pick up but I don't want to talk too much um, in the intro. If you want to see swatches, check over my Instagram. By the time this video goes up, I'm sure I will have swatches on my Instagram for you guys. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else to say. Let's get into the tutorials. Alrighty guys, so your girl is here to do my first look with this multi-look video. Um, and of course what we're going to do is go ahead and start off priming my eye. I'm going to be priming my eye with my MAC Paint Pot and Groundwork. Okay, first what I'm going to do is take a very, very fluffy brush. I'm going to go into Golden Age, which is the yellow in this palette, and I'm going to pack this in my transition area. Now I'm packing this here because I really, really want to make sure that this shows up in my final look. Um, but if you want it to be a lot more subtle, then you can kind of sweep this into your transition area. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my time and just blend. So that's that. Very, very nice shade. Then I'm going to take a smaller blending brush and we are going to go into Etale de Nord. I think that's what it is. It's the green. And I'm just going to pack this on in my actual crease all throughout my crease. So starting in my outer V and going all the way to my inner corner. I'm not going to worry about really making this shade impactful because it's going to easily be shown in conjunction with this yellow. I just want to make sure it blends nicely with the yellow and does not overpower the yellow. Right. So I want to just go ahead and do my lower lash line while I'm at it. So I'm just going to take that green on a small pencil brush that's kind of fluffy. This is a pencil brush from Colourpop. And then I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush with that yellow. And then to deepen out both my lower lash line and my outer V, I'm going to go into the shade Nightcap, which is the brown. Well, one of the browns in this palette. There are quite a few browns in this palette, actually. So I'm just going to take that and just kind of deepen it up. It really isn't deeper, but like, you know, it makes me feel better putting the shade here, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna really focus this on my upper lid and my outer V area. I'm not gonna really drag this very far. I just want this to deepen up just this little area. And on my lower lash line, I'm gonna try and just focus this right against that lash line area. It's looking pretty good. I'm liking it. All right. Now to continue on, of course, I need to cut my lid. So I'm just going to use a flat brush and my next glitter glue. And then we will continue on putting the shades on my lid. Okay, so I already cut out my lid. First, we're going to go into the shade Venice. This was one of the shades that I remember really, really loving when I used this um, palette in my first impressions in December. And I just couldn't help myself. I had to reach into this shade once again. So I'm just going to go ahead and pack the shade right on top of that glitter glue. Nothing extremely fancy. And 
and then I'm going to take just a little bit and put it in the front of my lower lash line. All right. All right. Last shadow that I'm going to be putting on my lids today, I'm going into the shade Alberg Pass which is like a champagne-y shade. And it's honestly gonna blend pretty much in with my lid shade, but it's still a really nice inner corner highlight. So those are all the shades that I'm putting on my lid. I'm not doing anything else. The only thing I need to do is add my waterline, put on my mascara on both eyes, finish up my base, and I'll be right back to show you guys my finished look. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look. And this is look number one. Still having a lot of fun with this palette. I will be coming to you guys with about two more looks um, featuring this palette. And at the very end, I will give you guys my total review and opinions when it comes to the Nomad Cosmetics Orient Express. So let's get into look number two. Alrighty guys, so I don't have very much time at all. I typically do my looks rather quick, but today it's going to be quickity quick quick okay i got places i gotta go and i did not intend to leave the house already anyways let's get started we're gonna prime this eye with my mac paint pot and groundwork then we're gonna jump right into the beautiful shades first i'm gonna go into bon voyage which is the only blue matte in this palette and i decided to kind of see the versatility of this matte in this look so I'm working this all in my outer V and in my crease. And as you can see, I have only dipped in that once. As you can see, I've only dipped in that once. I haven't dipped in any extra times. And I'm doing that because I really want to blend this area out. I am just gonna slowly add more product in this area. And as I do so, the shade is still going to be kind of lighter than it coulda, shoulda, woulda did been. Um, and honestly, it's turning into like a greener-ish shade in person. And on camera, it's really looking what it should look like. But yeah. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is take one of my smallest and favorite blending brushes and go right back into Bon Voyage and just deepen up my actual crease area with the same exact shade. A really good matte, you know it's a good matte when you can deepen it up with itself. And that's really what I wanted to do in this, this look today because I wanted this to be a kind of diverse um, look but because we were only given the one blue, I wanted to kind of challenge it to be able to do what I wanted it to do. So I already deepened up the actual crease. Now what I'm doing is blending this outer edge area. And then what I'm gonna do is take the fluffiest brush that I'm gonna be using today and I'm gonna go into white glove, which is a white, I feel like it has a very, very slight blue tinge to it so using it in this manner to kind of lighten up my actual outer edge it just works out i will say that this brush picks up a lot of product which is why you hear me tapping the brush off but overall it's doing what i want it to do which is lightening up my actual outer edge of this blue once again just adding to the diversity of the shade and making it so that the shade looks more uh, depth provoking and different shades even though it's not you know what I mean I hope you do okay so that is that now what I'm doing to do is of course cut my lid with my NYX glitter glue and my flat ACM I think this is the 21 brush yeah W21 brush and we are gonna cut my lid. Now what I'm gonna do is go into the shade Simplon, Simplon Pass right here. 
which is actually a duochrome. It shifts from blue to purple. So we're gonna put that on my lid. It's a really, really pretty shade. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Paris, which looks like a white um, metallic, and it kind of is, but it definitely has a strong um, blue reflect. So once again, a duochrome. And this is going to be my inner corner highlight shade. I'm also gonna bring it up a little bit on my lid. For my lower lash line, I'm just going to go into that smallest blue brush that I used today and just blend out the blue by itself. I'm not going to do any of those kind of tricks that I did on my upper lash line. Just blend her out and I will be fine. Alrighty, to finish up this look, all I need to do is put on my liner. And for today, my liner is my LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in the shade Electric. And I'm going to be putting on my Lancome Monsieur Big. I'm going to zoom out and show you guys my finished look. Alrighty, guys, so this is the finished look. And yeah, like I said, this is the finished look. I am very, very happy with look number two. I think I was really able to kind of manipulate the one blue matte that they have in this palette. And I'm really enjoying it so far. I've really been able to focus in on the blues. I focused in a little bit on the greens. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do for tomorrow's look. I know I haven't really used the browns very often, but like, it's me. Um, I also have a couple of the metallics that I have not touched thus far. So I do want to go ahead and play with those so I can give you guys my full, full thoughts after tomorrow's video or after tomorrow's look. Um, and if you're wondering anything that is on my face right now, just check out down below. It will all be listed down there. So I will see you guys in just a minute. Alrighty guys, so I'm here to bring you guys look number three. Um, and this is obviously going to be the last look for this video. As always, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my time and prime my eye. This Elkin is the NYX, not the NYX. This is the MAC, um, uh, what in the Dickens is this? This is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot and Groundwork, that. <laughs> So I just like to prime with it. It's actually, it's become a decent primer in the grand scheme of things. Okay, so I'm gonna use some of the browns today. First, I'm gonna go into the shade Baby Grand, which pretty much blends into my skin tone. It is a bit warm, um, especially like, you might not be able to tell on camera, but just in person, you can definitely see it. But it is very close, the actual shade is very close to my skin tone. Um, it's just like I said, a bit warm. So I'm just gonna put that in my transition area. I'm not gonna really spend too much time on this shade because it is very close to my eye um, or to my complexion. So I just don't need to blend all that much. Then what I'm gonna do is deepen her up with the shade Nightcap, which is theoretically the darkest shade in this palette. Um, I think that's debatable, but yeah, so we're gonna go with that. And this is the warmer of the two dark browns. So what I found is that this palette has kind of a group of cool toned browns, and it has a group of warm tone browns. And this is the darker of the warm tone browns. And I wanted to make sure I stuck with the warm tones today, just because that's genuinely what I've been interested in. I haven't been interested in cool toned browns as of late or at least necessarily out of this palette so I just didn't force myself to be interested in them today I'm just gonna take my time and blend and very very simple crease work I really did not want there to be much kind of craziness going on out here I really just wanted to make sure that it was nice and deep and I got to use 
some more of these shades that I had not used previously. So that is that. Then of course, what am I gonna do next? I'm gonna cut my lid. So I'm gonna take the time to get a flat brush, cut it with, get a flat brush and use my NYX glitter glue. And we are going to cut my crease Alrighty, so the first shade I'm going to put on my crease, I'm going to use Bar 3674, which is pretty much just a brown metallic. I wouldn't say it's bronzy, I would just say it's straight up brown. And I'm going to put this on my outer lid area. With that done and laid down, then what I'm going to do is go into Istanbul, which is a greeny gold. I'm just going to flip my brush over to the other side and I'm going to pack Istanbul onto my lid. Now I'm going to go back and forth between the two different sides of my brush just to ensure that the shades blend. It looks like, at least on this eye, Istanbul definitely took over. So I'm going to go back in with bar 36. 40, 74, whatever, and just to make sure that this shade gets equal opportunity on my lid. I think that's looking really, really good. Okay, then in our corner wise, I'm going to go into the shade Allberg Pass. It is a lighter bronzy shade. And this is going to be my inner corner highlight. I am going to stretch it down to the beginning of my lower lash line. And for my lower lash line, I'm just going to use my two crease colors that I used. Very quickly, because these are browns, it's super easy to get these done and blend it quickly. And there's no real problem at all. So that is the finished look. All I need to do is put on my Happy Mood liner from Linda Hallberg and then put on my Matsu Big by Lancome and then I'll be back to show you guys my finished look. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look. And like I said, this is the finished look and the final look. I really like that I was able to not only use the browns, but to also add a little flair in there by using the greeny gold. I really think it did well. Overall, I think that this is a very good formulation very true to Nomad Cosmetics. So if you tried any of their palettes, I definitely think that this is very true to their formulation. I do still kind of wonder if it was necessary to have as many browns as we do. Like I said, there are definitely tones of browns in here. So you definitely get these three browns over here that are lighter in tone and these two are definitely cooler in tone. Did you really need all of them? I truly don't think you do, but you know, that is for um, the brand to decide. And actually, I appreciate both of these whites. I will say I actually really do appreciate them. They really did help me kind of to create a very interesting look yesterday with the blue. So overall, I am very, very happy with this palette. There are a couple of shades that I haven't used. Um, I still haven't used these three and then this one, but those are all, oh, and then Grand Suite, I haven't used as well. So they're about, what, four, five shades that I have not used yet, um, but that, Without stating those, I do recommend this palette. I think this is a really nice palette and I am happy that I did take the time to pick this up. As I said in my must have muskag, I just didn't really think that this was something that I needed. I just didn't think that this was something that I would get any enjoyment by having and like actually testing it out and doing looks with, but I truly have. So that is one thing to note and I really am happy to have it. I would love to hear you guys' opinions of other on whether you pick this one up or not. Today, I don't know if you guys will know, but I did pick up their most recent palette, so the Iceland palette. It should have been here yesterday. I don't know what happened, um, but I'm just waiting for it to be delivered, and then I will probably start working on that palette immediately because I don't have any palettes 
waiting to test out and do looks for you guys um and then after i get through those three looks i just want to play around with my collection have some fun until even more palettes come into my life so that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, y'all, black lives do matter. Please remember to wear a mask and stay safe. And stay safe. I would love it if you guys like and subscribe after watching this video and you liked my content and, of course, my personality. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.